Well, I like how they're balanced. I just want this one to be a little more. Dude, it was fine just the way it was. But I had it perfect. It looked hot. There you go. That's fine. They don't care. Tactical Doodle with his dad out in the desert. Getting ready to do a video that I've been planning for a while. Finally getting around to it. Called Scope versus Reflex Sight. Kind of a data point for close quarter shooting with your tactical carbine. It's going to be as it happens. Kind of raw edit. Just two of us out here. Beautiful summer day. Summer coming to the end, 2012. We're going to have four targets. Haven't done tactical carbine shooting in a while. So there's, hold on, let me go stand right here. Skews zone. So there you go. There you go. We're probably both going to suck. We're going to pop three rounds on that bad boy. Pop three on him. Pop three on him. Then go over here and pop five on the 200-yard target. It's a 10-inch steel plate down there. Have fun with that with the reflex sight. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to crush it. <laughs> Spe speaking of awesome, we're starting tired. True or false? Totally. Yeah. Kind of, uh, we did some mountain biking, did some mountain wrecking out here today. It's pretty cool. Made some sweet jumps. Yep. Sweet wrecks, sweet jumps. You'll see that in a separate video. Uh, they're strapped to the back of the, the truck right there. Check it. And while you're checking that, check out the MPRV. The Nut and Fancy Project Sweet Response Vehicle. This thing defines fly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Aluminum construction, twist grip shifters. That's right. Lucky. A luggage rack. Look at that. You can haul all kinds of stuff on there. Topped off with a TNP bandana. You know why that was on there, by the way? My paper route. There you go. I used to have a milk crate on there. Doodles paper out. I, I just strapped a big old milk crate in the back and I was like, dude, you're doing a paper out. And he did it for like a year and a half. It was awesome. It Make your kids get too. a paper out. This is the NPRV. Check out the sweet pennant. Awesome. That's awesome. Little mini TMP flag. All right, uh, so we haven't shot tack carvings in a long time. We're probably going to suck. This is today's data point. I already have my biases. I'll tell you that right off. I think a scope is your best option, specifically a two to seven power scope with whatever gun you're running. Maybe it's an AR-15, maybe it's an AK variant, Caltech SU-16, Mini, whatever. Here we go. We're going to start off. You going to time, dude? Uh, sure. Okay. It's the green button. Right. By the way, my son says I look like a paleontologist today. You do. You look like Dr. Ellie Sadler, as seen in Jurassic Park. Of course, then again, anytime you see boots with shorts... You think they're trying to look for grant money. It's pretty gay. Yeah. Whatever. All right, so give me a beat and uh, off we go. I guess I'll start with which one? Carbine or the scope? Yeah, I'll do that. All right. This is a Rock River Elite Operator 2 reviewed. Highly recommended. Proprietary muzzle brake. Alpha rail from Troy. Two-stage trigger from Rock River. Shooting PMC in this one. All right, dude. All right, this dog. is kind of a walking gun. Yeah. I'm introducing a new term, walking gun. By the way, do I got desert boogers? I feel like I do. You're good. Sweet. Yeah, I All dislocated right. my patella last week, so don't expect much out of a... We'll see how this goes. You know. What else do you have to say before we start? Nothing. Shoot already? Uh, hang on. Let me check my length of pull here, bro. I think I got this set kind of high. I'm not going to be super fast. Death waits for no man! Three gun guys know how this goes. Create calm. Hit. 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 All hits. All right, time. 45.51. What is it? 45.51. It says right. you get a We're C+. Not... 
Does it say D plus in there? C. <laughs> so you're passing. You're in the meaty part of the curve with all the rest of the smart kids. All right. Love this gun. Uh, the time is just kind of an extra way to measure performance. I'm, we're not going to go way by it. I'll come up with a way here in annotation for a score. So around 45 seconds, you said? Yep. Let's go look at the paper. We decided before we started camera anything in this circle, the nine circle is a kill. He's dead. Zoom in on this guy, doodle. Okay. And we'll call it good. He's dead, right? Uh, hold He's on. got two in the kill out. ring. Yeah, two rounds here, one round there. Okay. So those are all kills. Forgot to double ace my boots. This 550 stuff will come undone if you don't double do it. Huh. Double dip. It's like putting your whole mouth in the, in dip. the dip. You dip and then you dip again. Deader than a doornail, dude. Alright, so my take on the scope run for the AR-15, it's not going to be quite as fast for me as a reflex sight. It's still very do doable. Where was I? Four yards. I ripped this guy. Everyone acts like shooting a scope is so debilitating. I think if you're in competition, the way I'm thinking now, always subject to change, is uh, here I am drawing a conclusion already. But I think if microseconds count, then yeah, probably a reflex sight. But your overall best optic choice, I still think is a scope. Pick your power, two to seven, one to five. But I'm shoot, I purposely chose a three power scope. Three power, shooting at four yards. Still was able to do this, fast. Doodle, you're up. All right. Okay. You're going to do three rounds as fast as you can and still hit. Dig? You left like five rounds in here. What? I kind of like got to reload it and stuff. All right. That's got wolf in it though. Really? Oh, never mind. Wolf is in the 20. Never mind. Okay. Double check it. Pull on that magazine. Make sure it's all the way in there. All right. Okay. You ready? Yep. Let's go ahead and shoulder it real quick because you haven't shot for a while. Is... Right up to the cone, douche. Oh. That's doodle. So you're going to go to three power on the close and then spin it to, I spin right to nine on the far. Got it? Okay. So go, go down and then do a quick presentation for a warm up. So down, yeah. get your hand guard grip where you want it and then pop, pop, pop. Oh, we got tape up. We forgot to do that. So we're going to pause here, tape up, then we're off to the races. Shooter ready. Get right up. <laughs> do that again. Sorry. Shooter ready. Sorry, it's just instinct. Do it. This is... Oh, that dude is tactical. Leaning me. Woo! Man, that guy's badass. Got the polo and everything. Hey, if you, if you have that stance, you got to shoot good. All right, dude, get right up on the cone. You're close to this guy. Oh, okay. So this is an in-your-face shot. Shoot ready at the beep. Three rounds. Remember to aim a little bit high okay. on the close guys, okay? Okay. Shoot ready. Ready. Nice tight group. Right here, dude, at the cone. Around. Come on back. Stay right there and just pivot. Shoot that guy. Good. Up to 200. Create some calm there, my friend. Spin your optic up to whatever power you want. Get in the glass immediately, though. Calm, calm, calm. Good trigger pull. It's a tough shot. Tougher. How's that no knee pad thing working for you? It's called having a dislocation dick wipe. <laughs> I can't, I can't kneel my left leg. Yes, we actually talk to each other this way. 
That's a miss. Low right. Hit. 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 One more. Hit. Four out of five. Nice shooting. That's 200 yard. Evil Roy by ActionTarget.com. Awesome target. See it right there. So what do you think about the close stuff? Shooting through the scope. Not bad. Doable, not ideal. Not ideal, but you can see fine through it. Let's go see how you did. People train with a lot worse systems. Oh, you dropped one there. Dang. Remember, you aim high on that. Yeah. So you've dropped two points so far. That's still good. That's a great group. Just aim up here because you're yeah. zeroed at 100. Well, when I saw the first one, I saw it here, and so I think I maintained my aim there. It was dumb. Good group. Now you know where to aim next round. Let's see what you did on this. It's a fun exercise. Finally got around to doing it. It's been on my list forever. All kills here. Sweet. Good job, Doodle. That's excellent. Dead nest. I know you, you wasted that other dude out there. Oh man, that's Sweet. sick. See, I did a little wider dispersion for pain. Uh, pain dispersion, I call it. All right, off we go to the today aim point. I was going to bring yeah. the EOTech, but the reason I didn't is because both of these guns have nice triggers. The EOTech gun is currently the MMP15 Sport, and I didn't want it to be oh, at a disadvantage. You got a rack trigger on that. I think we're running a Chip McCormick in this uh, bushy. If I remember in November on our Turkey Day test, didn't we do the M&P at pretty long range? I think so. And we couldn't hit anything with it. Uh, maybe. Yeah. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna be a touchdown. That's a bushy. A point ML2 two MOA dot. My preferred. I like a smaller dot. I can always crank up brightness to make it bigger. Let me see where I'm at, by the way. Yeah, I gotta go a little bit less bright when I go long for more precision. I think this is zeroed for wolf. I'm pretty sure it is. So wolf it is. Let's tear it up. You got the timer? Yep. Alright. Oh, we got it's your turn to tape. Man. tape. Awesome. This is why we shoot steel. Taping is so dumb. It's dumb. It takes forever. I hate dumb. taping. And to think my good group would just sit there mocking you. Shooter regular. Ace is a place. Dude, I never taped this at all. That was your job. Uh uh. I literally left you standing there with the tape. I have to tape that one. Luckily, it's an easy tape job. Because right. of my awesome group. That is an awesome group. Making your life easier through my skills. Now, if you could just do that at 100 yards. No way. I did it for. All right, skillet. See how warm that. All right, ready. Awesome. Target ID is really tough with this. All high? Yep. High and to the right. Did I hit the last one or all misses? I didn't hear anything. I think they're all misses. That's embarrassing. And yes, I'm trying to make kits. We had a wind pickup. We got a little bit of a crosswind. Here's one of the problems with the reflex sight. You're seeing it right here. Come down here, doodle. Look at the lack of contrast I have on that target. 
So how do I identify that target? Now granted that's a steel plate painted white. What if the bad guy's just presenting a small portion of his body? What then? You gonna I'm, be able to identify it? I'm having trouble picking it up in the viewfinder. See we're getting low angles with the sun at this time of day. And we did make sure this was this was shooting on, wasn't it? I did yeah. hit it off camera to make sure it was zeroed with the aim point. I'm really trying to give a good trigger pull, but I was pretty much high on all of those. Now you can make the case, well, you know, for a full-size bad guy, you probably would have hit him because I was in this vicinity. Yeah. That's a 10-inch plate. Maybe. But last time I checked, bad guys don't present their whole body. You know, it's going to be a head, a torso, brief shot, brief, brief moment in time. And then I want to identify who is it. Tough to do with that. Now, let's go look at the close stuff. What I've said before on my tabletop is if you think you're going from zero to 50 yards, maybe even zero to 100, good option. Personally, at 100, I want some magnification. That's just me. I shoot better that way. I dropped one. So, I got, I'm down, what, uh, six points right there. Wasted that guy. So those are all kills. The close stuff is real easy with the reflex. It's faster too. I felt faster with this than I did the scope. What you're seeing in three gun and actually tactical carbine courses is the one to five. That's probably a good choice. Although for that 200 yard, 10 inch plate, I like more magnification. That's a great group right there. That was fast too. Tore that guy a new one. So kind of the point I'm, I'm gonna make in this video is you do not have to go one power from what we've done out here for years in the Nut and Fancy project. 1.5 is fine, two is fine. I'm shooting this at three power. So nice knife. Thanks. Triage, Mr. EMT himself. All right, just like when you go Air Force, aim high. Okay, shooter ready. Step up to that cone. Ready. I'll take the timer from you. Okay. So go ahead and shoulder it real quick. Make sure it's where it is. You know where you're aiming, right? Yeah. Just because you're shooting fast doesn't mean you're out of control. Keep it controlled and you can freaking rock that trigger. Shooter ready? Yep. At the beep. Dial down, dial down your dot if you need to. Wind died down a little bit. 200 yards, aim point. High. So aim bottom of plate. That's a hit. Hit. You're on it. High, hit, I think you got one more. Yeah, buddy. Doodle, representing with zero magnification. Were you on bottom of plate? Yeah, probably floating a couple inches below the plate. Were you? Okay. Yeah, I had my dot here, plate was like that. 58.36 is your time. Did we show your time on your scope? I forget. I don't think so. Darn. That yeah, probably sucked. I took a long time. I bet you it was like a minute 16. Well, you got four out of five. I think that's what gave you. I can't remember if I let you shoot an extra three. shot. Good shooting. Young eyes. So let's go through one more time with both of them. Deal? Yeah. Okay, you're going to go off again. You'll go first this time with a scope. We got to go check my groups because I bet you they suck. Is this drill fun or is it stupid? This is fun. 
Well done. He's dead. I was thinking That's I my boy. It a lot more than that. Huh? I was thinking I winged it a lot more than that. Maybe you're you've progressed to beyond Jedi. What's Wait. beyond Jedi? I think I'm still at tadpole. But what happens when like Obi Wan dies and goes to the next realm? Is he he's like above Jedi, right? I don't know. I think all kills, dude. Region. Excellent. That's cool. Tape it. I got your this gun. Sucked. Go and check. And the I'll other go one. check out this for these guys right here. That's a sweet setup. It's not free floated. For CQB, do you really need it? Nope. It's lightweight, heavy barrel. Nice little bushy we've had in the family forever. Duracoated in Magpul Flat Dark Earth by MissionSpecCamo.com. All kills, doodle. Styling. In PRV, waiting patiently unused. Load up. Okay, this will be your last run with a scope. Let's go quick so the video's not too long. Step up to the cone there, feller. Okay. At the beep! Hit, hit, miss, miss, miss. Five? That sucked. I think that one may have been a hit. I'll call you three out of five on that. Your time is 37.10? With all misses at the last station. What? Doesn't take skill to miss quickly. All right, let's go look at your paper. Of course. Something you're going to see here is as we practice, we'll just get faster. The first, the first runs really are the most illustrative because we're doing it cold. Excellent group. Oh, cool. So you might get a speed bonus. Real quick, let's look at this. All kills here. That's a good run, doodle. All kills here, my friend. That was good shooting. Could have done a little bit better at 200. I think you rushed that a little bit. Oh, I totally did. I jerked my trigger the first two hard. All right, here, just take the camera. We're filming. Here's cool. the timer. I'll take the gun. One cut. You got enough rounds in there, right? Totally. That was a hit. It was. Hit. Yeah, salt splatter. Cool. Hit. Hit. Those are all hits. You'll see desk kick up if it misses. Yeah. What's time? 47.96. Okay, for me, just with my skill set, I have to really slow down at 200. Yeah. If you want to hit, I just can't just pop those off. The wiggles are kind of doing the figure eight, so I just got to, that's what adds time to my runs. All right, I'm going to go uh, turn right into the zero modification. Let's go. Yeah. It helps to tape them. Extras in there. All kills. Roger. Ate this dude last time, but obviously all kills. Yeah, the other one's got like five rounds in too. 
Okay, cool. Fun, huh? He did. That's one too many in that one. Velcros are like totally blowed out on these gloves. Oh, you got a short length of pull on it, don't you? Yep. My mother was a forest elf. <laughs> oh, that she was. She was ready. Right. Slowing down. Wallop. Miss. Miss, hi. Oh, dang. Hit. Hit. Is that five? Give it one more for good measure. Miss. Time. 60-42. Whoa, that sucks. You know, a lot of my problem may be my 38-year-old uh, eyes. <laughs> what? Nothing. My 40-year-old plus eyeballs. Because he's doing better with this than I am. So that could be a problem. And then there is a possibility I just suck. Very distinct possibility. Okay, here you go. Camera's ro rolling. Oh, we got a tape still. Yeah, we got a tape. God, I hate freaking paper. Sucks. 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 Let's see how we did. Grab the gun too. All kills there. Tape it. This is a Bushmaster AR-15 with aim point. Second run. Run. Dealt some pain there. Great group. I slowed down my shooting a little bit on that one. Just a little bit. This is Sledgehammer Road, by the way, if you guys recognize it. Nice group there. The close quarter stuff, the aim points, the EOTEX are great. Doodles running this one last time and then we'll draw a few, draw a few conclusions. At the beep when you're ready. Here we go. Raptor stance. Right here. Good. <laughs> I have to sit like Alley now. Huh, it's running knee pads, it looks like. Let's see if your young eyeballs can make more hits. Young eyes, deep lungs, young eyes, deep lungs. Hit! Hit! I'm gonna call that a hit too. That's a miss, you can okay. see the dust. Hit, four out of five. All right, so here we go. Let's go check your paper while we talk. All right. I think what you're seeing here is perhaps a very interesting data point on zero. By the way, your time was 49.34. Cool. Good run. That's awesome. Oh, wait, 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 what we got here? <laughs> Less Drop awesome. one round there. Keep walking. All right. I think what you're seeing is an interesting data point on aging eyeballs versus new eyeballs. Yes? Totally. So if you're a younger dude, you're probably going to have more success with a reflex sight. EOTech, eight point. Look oh! That. You sucked. It. So you dropped a point there. 
Lost two, three points total. Let me ask you this, from what you've known, this shooting. So you're going CQB, Fallujah style, which one are you choosing? Ooh. House to house. Probably this. But your shots could range out to about 100 yards, maybe even longer down the alley. But you are doing room clearing. I'd probably still go this. I probably would too. Now some guys will say, hey, nothing fancy, what about the swing out optic behind here? I say, nope. Here's why. It's going to become a heavier unit than a quality scope. You have to swing your optic to the right. For gaming, like three gun, tactical carbine courses, sure, go ahead. For real life, having something swung out here, forget it. Then it's not a contiguous op optic or continuous. In other words, if I have rain or snow happening, I could get that all plugged up and go reference a snow blind shoot. That's what can happen out here. It's just not a good setup for me. No way. I'm going to choose one or the other. I'm going to choose this. Or she's a scope. The balance too is funky. If you hold one of those, one of the really heavy ones. Yeah, it adds weight and they're expensive. There's less expensive alternatives. Let's go check your last target and we'll wrap it up. Tactical doodle, nothing fancy, scope versus aim point today. All kills on that one. So you drop two points overall and then uh, I think you only had one miss at the 200. I think so. Okay, as an all-around optic, what would you choose? I'd probably still go Aimpoint or Eotech. As an all-arounder? There you go. Not me. I'm going to go, because of what you saw and how I shoot, 2 to 7. Or eight, 3 to 9, like I got on that one gun right there. Mm -hmm. That's I, a data point. I do love those, though, and they have low magnification and wide field of view. The 1 to 5s like that, the 3-gun ones? Love them. That might be a great choice. I've, we shot out here the Leopold one and a half to five. Love it. I find I want more magnification on those long shots. There you go, that's just me. How's that for a raw edit, nothing fancy project video? <coughs> nice. See ya.